Hi, and welcome to my extended video review. This week, we're going to talk about an interesting technology. It's actually one that I've used in the past, but they weren't smart when I used them before. So growing up, um, my father didn't have a telescope, but uh, one of our neighbors did. And we often uh, looked at the moon and looked at, at various, um, well, things in the night sky, things around us in the world. And that was a traditional telescope, uh, not a smart telescope. And the new reality um, and the device you see here on the screen in front of you, I'm trying to avoid the shaky cam, although there's going to be shaky cam when I get a little closer for a moment. Um, but the technology you see in front of you is from a company called Unistellar. Uh, Unistellar is a French company and they make smart telescopes. Now, what's a smart telescope, you might say, right? Does it does it say, no, I'm not going outside today, it's too hot, right? Um, give you smart alecky comments, smart responses to what you're trying to do? No, a smart telescope is one that connects to your device. Now, most of the time, I connect it to my iPhone, uh, and I take pictures of various astro phenomena that I'm interested in, uh, predominantly looking at different things that interest me. I don't necessarily take uh, pictures of, I'm, I'm not as probably as, as big into astrophotography as people that take, you know, pictures of the moon and Saturn and Venus and, you know, all the different phases and all that. I, I enjoy taking pictures uh, specifically of the moon. Uh, I guess I'm always looking for that glint of metal uh, to see where the Apollo missions landed, but also because I enjoy looking at and seeing what I can do. So what you have is a smart telescope. So I'm now going to create the shaky cam experience that I know my extended reviews are famous for. Uh, and we're going to pan back out and come around to show you the Unistellar. Now you can see the Unistellar has a very nice base unit here. So it sits on this base very well. Um, it has, um, well, it has its logo here. Uh, you can see the Unistellar. Um, you take off this, which is the lens cap or lens cover. There is the actual lens. And then inside of this is an astro camera, one that looks at the sky and takes pictures. Hmm, I don't know that. Oh, and there's Alexa doesn't know that. That's an unfortunate thing. Um, but anyway, it's very easy to operate. You can power it on by simply pressing the power button here. Um, the power button is on the side, actually. Press the power button, um, and once you press the power button, you'll notice that the power button lights up. Uh, it charges with USB-C, um, and as I said, it has a smart device uh, connection. Uh, so once the camera, you know, basically what happens now is you go into the software, you connect to it, and then it'll position itself. Then you can say, I want to take a picture of XYZ. You press the picture of XYZ, and then the telescope will adjust itself so that geographically it is, if it is able to, right? If you're in the Northern Hemisphere and you say, I want to see the Southern Cross, it's not going to take you there. Um, but if you want to see something that is visible in the Northern Hemisphere, and that's uh, my loyal astrophotography companion there, Mr. Puck, um, wandering back and forth. But if you want to say, see something like the Big Dipper, Ursa, Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, the Little Dipper, um, you can press that picture in the software and then it, the telescope will adjust to it and take pictures. The pictures then come to your cell phone and you can look at them and share them. Uh, it's an incredibly interesting uh, technology, a very cool tool. But anyway, this week, the extended review, the Unistellar Smart Telescope.